Welcome back. It's the date you've had marked in your calendar all year. Yes, it's World Chocolate Milkshake Day. <laughs> Chrissy Gibson from Take the Cake has stayed with us, and I'm going to make a confession. Okay. I've never had a milkshake in my life. What? I know. I have How never did had that one. Happen though. Well, I... you see, my body is a temple. Some would say it's a garden centre. I'd say it's a temple. No, I've never, I've never been a fan. Never tried them. But I'm about to. Simon! I know, what am I having? I'm your first. I know, So yeah. this what is a chocolate having? milkshake. There's great debate, actually, about whether you should make a chocolate milkshake with vanilla or chocolate ice cream. Some people swear it should be vanilla and add more chocolate syrup. Okay. Some people like to do chocolate. I have a, a flavor of chocolate ice cream that I happen to like a lot. And I knew that you'd be having the chocolate milkshake today, Simon. I know how much you love your chocolate. I do like my so chocolate, So yeah. I just added 120 mils of full fat milk oh, to 900 mils of ice cream. <laughs> now, whether you decide to use chocolate or vanilla is up to yourself, but okay. if you decide to use vanilla, just find yourself a, a chocolate sauce that you like a lot and then add it to taste. Okay. If you don't have a chocolate sauce. You can make your own by taking 50 mils of cream, heating it up nice and hot, and adding uh, a couple tablespoons of cocoa, baker's cocoa. So this isn't sweet, but you can, you can add that to your milk and chocolate uh, ice cream mixture. Okay. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla, okay, just five mils, and a pinch or two of espresso. If you want, if you're a Black Forest fan, you could add a splash of cherry liqueur. You could add instead of the coffee, you could add Bailey's. Oh. If you're, a, if you're a, a chocolate orange fan, you could add a splash of orange Little essence. Little liqueur in there? Yeah, maybe? absolutely. But never add ice cubes. Never. No, that would compromise the integrity of the shake. Because it's water in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. so you can add ice cubes to smoothies, but not milkshakes. Okay. So, blend it up nice and smooth, okay? And just in case my blender acted up today, I decided to pour one ahead of time for myself. Good. Now, uh, if you do end up using vanilla ice cream, you do get a nice and rich flavor because that tends to have more vanilla in it but you're gonna have to add more chocolate sauce. You're gonna have to add more chocolate sauce. Give that a taste, my lord, and see what you think. <clears throat> right, this is my first ever milkshake. That's incredible. And we're gonna capture the moment live on television. Top this off with freshly Although whipped Although I get cream. a feeling I'm not gonna hate it really, am I? I don't know what there is to hate in a chocolate shake. If it's too thick for your straw, I gave you a spoon there too. Holy moly. Does that do the trick? Where have you been all my life? Yeah, it is rich though, it is rich. It is rich, yeah, but you know, I, I find it's a bit balanced, Chrissy. I'll do 10K later on today. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Don't you, every Sunday though? Oh, I'm not absolutely. 10K. I might do an extra 10K. <laughs> That's gorgeous. I'm gonna, it's very I'm gonna creamy. make a shake for you too, so I'm gonna blend this up a little yeah, bit more. Yeah. Thank you, Chrissy. It's my pleasure, happy milkshake day. Happy International Chocolate Milkshake Day. Um,